You're not exactly my type, but if you want to play around a little, I'm good. Take your best shot. When we last left our heroine... Wait, this game is the prequel to Mega Man Legends. <sighs> Crap, let me start again. Introducing Tron Bon. But you already know her. She's the petite teenage girl classified as a heavy in so many fighting games owing to the bipedal mecha she drives around in. Yes, before she encountered that Mega Man fellow and started to not have feelings for him at all, though never, she and her brothers had a nasty run-in with some lone sharks with robotic penguins. This is their story, full of debt, intrigue, debt, brilliance, and more debt. And puzzles, and action, and resource management, and... Well, let's just say there's a lot on this disc. After Teasel and Bon Bon are abducted by some cheesed-off lenders, it's up to Tron and her quote-unquote kids, all 40 of them, to come to the rescue. And you'll get to know each of these surf bots intimately, as each one has a special power, unique mannerisms, differing stats, despite them all looking identical. But looks can be deceiving, and if you're expecting this to just be more 3D action in the vein of the Legend series, well, you're only about 33% right. In order to come to the rescue, the remaining Bond must gather the loan of one million zenny by the only means she knows how. Stealing shit. We did it! Oh, it's a giant refractor! So this is an Aurora Stone. From the color and size, it's probably worth 50,000 zenny. Some missions have Tron and a modified tank, solving block-moving puzzles at the city docks in order to snag shipments of beef and flour in what I presume is a desperate attempt to corner the Wellington market. Others see her, accompanied by a half dozen surf bots, pillaging houses, businesses, and... a veterinary hospital? Sure, why not? If they've got cash on hand. Still others are cave crawls through an underground maze shot from a first-person perspective as Tron observes via helicopter cam. Between these missions, the fully featured airship Gesellschaft serves as your base of operations and a floating reminder of just where that million zenny went. Via the HQ's menus, you can save, embark on missions, speak to individual serve bots, numbered for your convenience, appraise and sell items, develop new weapon systems, scout out new targets, and train your legion through a course of minigames. As you progress, new areas and training regimes will be unlocked, while the data you gather in speaking with your <coughs> kids can offer clues as to how to obtain more filthy lucre. While there's a hint of that familiar Legends action, the majority of Misadventures is very much its own beast, with an off-kilter sense of humor, all sorts of gameplay options, and a vocal performance that... I'll write some of it's downright cheesy, but it's the good kind of cheesy. The kind that comes from a sincere effort. There are plenty of heartwarming moments, too, as Tron shows her motherly side to her personal army. We can't be that! Don't give up yet! Think! Use your heads! Look! See those fire traps all over the floor? You can use those to beat it! I suppose I could consider it cruel that two of the most requested games for me to review are two of the most valuable in my collection. If I didn't already have copies of them, I'd be out of luck. Earthbound was bad enough, but Tron's solo adventure is going to run you at least a hundred bucks at the bare minimum, and believe me, it's worth every penny. A brand new copy? Well, let's just say that if you have any relatives being held hostage by a loan shark, you'd be in good shape to set them free. <laughs> 